this is Hans the Ramen Reader coming at you with kind of a special episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And wow, this is a kind of different episode. Uh, let's see. So I was sick and then I had to go to the hospital. Holy crap. I uh, went to the store to get some stuff for dinner. And on the way back, uh, I got real and I had to sit down and then like I don't know what happened but somehow I ended up like sitting down on the curb and then like I realized very shortly thereafter that I had fallen asleep on the curb yeah and let's make this really quick I know, not my normal thing. I am going to do a kind of an intensive, definitive guide to this stuff, Marashan. I think. It's a little while, a little ways out. Not too far, I don't think, but. Yeah. Wow, now that was uh, Monday evening, and it is Friday. So, yeah, I like passed out in effect or just like got comfy and I don't remember laying down I was like whoa what just happened whoa and I lay down I guess I don't remember that and then I woke up and I like felt the back of my head instinctively you know because I'm like did I like fall asleep and just like go wham and that's why it's like no nothing out of my head but I was just gasping and gasping for air and just like couldn't cool down, just felt like absolutely thrashed and honestly kind of panicky about it. So I called my wife and she came and rescued me. Thank you. And brought me back home. And then I sat in the car for a little bit trying to cool down and I couldn't and finally I felt good enough okay if I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try to like make a beeline for the bed and flop down on the bed and I got to the hallway and I had to like get on the floor again and she's like do you, do you need help I'm like yeah go ahead call 911 so then I'm talking to the 911 guy and you know the the EMT and they come over and they uh, get me into a chair and take me down the stairs and out onto a stretcher and take me to the emergency room. And so I got the Omicron, right? Well, as it turns out, so, okay, rewind a little bit. Back in 2016, I took a flight to Taiwan and that's a long flight from Seattle. That's like over 10 hours. And so I'm still like, yeah, anyways. So that's a long flight. So I wanted to sleep through it. So I was a lot bigger back then and those seats are pretty small. And I took some like Tylenol PM or something like that, passed out for like hours. And I was like, sweet, I only got an hour till I gotta get there. And I was happy as a clam. Well, I ended up developing a pulmonary embolism. That's a blood clot that like, was in my lung. So I had to go on blood thinners and all that stuff, and that was pretty crazy. And I had to spend some time in the hospital for that. Well, that was in 2016. What happened is apparently the way your body fights off Omicron, this is what was des described to me. I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but I think it's pretty much the deal. If you have a tendency to possibly get a blood clot in your lung, which obviously I did, this stuff, the way your body fights it, will make it so it'll kind of like say, hey, bring it on, bring me another one. So apparently I got one that was even bigger and a lot of them, and I never expect that because I lost a lot of weight and I am really active. And those two things generally don't jibe with uh, getting a blood clot. But I guess COVID plus that kind of changes the odds. So they put me in an ICU. I've never been in one of those before. I never expected, you know. 
So I went in the ICU. That was amazing because the people that work in there, they like, wow, they're, they're really efficient. They really work together well. It was like, it gave me hope for humanity that <laughs> that many people can work on a single thing so coordinatedly. So, so yeah, that was really cool. But yeah, I had to get a CT. They found the blood clots. Uh, I was in this, the ICU for a while. They drew blood. They drew more blood. They drew more blood. I don't think you can probably see it as much anymore, but they poked my hand probably, God, they were giving me blood draws like every two hours for a while there. <laughs> it was just like, oh my God, I had an IV in this arm, in this arm. I was on oxygen. I had a blood pressure cuff. I had the thing on the finger that tells your blood oxygen level. I mean, I was just like, and then I had all the little beep, 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 little thingies on. Here's what they look like. See? I put them on my phone. I had to get souvenirs, but um, yeah, it was it was quite an experience. And then they moved me to a regular room, and that was cool. Uh, talk noodles with a bunch of the nurses there. That was fun. And yeah, all all just amazing, cool people over at that hospital, Evergreen Hospital in Kirkland, Washington. Super cool people. Thank you. I yeah, I probably wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to for the last few days. I got home last night. Yeah. I feel bad because it's like everybody was so freaked out and stuff and it's like I, I, I didn't want that to happen. I, uh, I never thought I would get another blood clot, but I guess that the whole COVID thing is very helpful with that unhelpful kind of thing. So yeah, yeah I really want to thank everybody who sent me well wishes and good vibes during this whole thing. That's that's rad. I appreciate that. everybody on all the Facebook group and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. That was really really nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm making something really basic today. I just need some like comforty food. Oh, yeah. Well, crap. I was gonna put an egg in it. Well, <laughs> let's put that back in there for a moment. Turn the heat back on. <laughs> there. One egg going in. Yeah, right now I'm like, kind of, you know, I spent like a few days literally just like laying in bed. So I'm still feeling kind of like, whoa, kind of beat. But uh, definitely feeling a little better than yesterday. Feeling better than last night. Last night, I mean, just like getting out of the hospital was just like, wow, this is rad. But it was just like that little bit of adrenaline from that was just like, whoa. Yeah, takes a lot out of you. But yeah, if you have a tendency to get blood clots and stuff like that, and you do get the sick, might not be a bad idea to call your doctor. I would have never, never in a million years, never thought of that. But luckily, I got in there when I did. Or there'd be no more of this show. Actually, there would be. There'd be episodes all the way until April. And then all of a sudden you'd be like, what happened? What happened to the show? But this is a instant noodle recipe time extra. I figured I'd do something just, just today. And of course I've reviewed Marachan chicken flavor instant noodles a bazillion times before, but I thought that sounds mellow and easy and chill. So yeah. Come on, are you done yet? I'm like totally ransom wearing this egg let's see if that works oh let go oh yeah i tell you it it takes your ability to make eggs and remember that you want to make an egg it's debilitating i feel debilitated as far as eggs go
And so here's our egg. It's kind of over here. She said there was some ham in here. Oh, and I broke the egg. <laughs> ham, huh? Let's see this ham. That looks like ham. Oh boy, howdy. Sliced off the bone ham. Oh, know it's chicken. I guess I could have done the soy sauce flavor to make it a little more logical. But then I was thinking I don't really want to make any chashus or use the chashu. Thaw out the chashu. There's some ham. Sounds kind of good. There's a ham. Yeah. have a little fun flip it over like that let's I haven't played with Sparky the the torch in a few days that sounds kind of nice there we go It's weird, like right now, I don't want to eat a lot of hot sauce because, you know, I'm on blood thinners. I'd, I'd, normally, I would like totally bury this in something spicy, but I also said I shouldn't take any, uh, what do you call it, anti-heartburn medication. So I'm like, I'm playing it kind of mellow right now. So yeah. But I do like I do like spring onion. And the stuff I'm on, apparently there won't be any weird restrictions. But it's worth just leaving it be until I get my follow-up. Yeah. Anyways. Here, look at this. Very haphazard. Interestingly weird bowl of uh, Marshawn. Again, thank you everybody so much for the nice wishes and everything and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll live I'll be all right but uh, yeah stay safe stay healthy listen listen to your system and you know do what you gotta do this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day have a good one